Now at its closest point to the Sun, the comet's activity continues to be monitored by the Rosetta orbiter. As the mission learns more about how a comet changes during its orbit, our knowledge of its composition is increasing, thanks to new and recently published science. Not least that Comet 67P Churyumov-Gerasimenko is mostly made up of space. The interior is full of the hull and we are measuring the porosity between 75 and 85 percent inside which means that you have materials compo composed of ices, it's uh, uh, water ice or CO2 ice, and dust materials. The concert instrument, which has two parts, one on the orbiter and one on the lander, probes the centre of the comet nucleus using radio waves. One of its 70 centimetre long antennas can be seen here. Imaged by Rosetta's Shiva camera, the darker patches on this cliff face are likely to be organics, compounds containing carbon. Comets are made of icy grains, refractory grains, like silicates, and carbon-rich molecules. But these molecules are really carbon grains. The organics are not only very small molecules embedded in the ice, it's really material, rigid material, solid material. And whatever the scale we look at, we see that material all around the surface and also below the surface. Within 64 hours of the Philae lander separating from the orbiter, 80% of the first science sequence was complete. Images from the lander's Rolis camera during a seven-hour descent show objects ranging from a boulder-sized five meters to less than 10 centimeters. The final image of the first landing site was taken just nine meters above the comet's surface. After that first touchdown, the Ptolemy and COSAC instruments began analysing any gases. COSAC detected 16 organic compounds, including four that had never been found before on a comet. It's the typical combination of um, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. So it's all kinds of typical bonds you would expect between these uh, atoms. So it's the OH, the alcohols, the aldehydes, that's the, the reduced, and the, the nitrogen bonds, that was the nitrile, the amide, the amine, and uh, the um, isocyanate even. So the typical bonds you would expect between C, H, O, and N were there. Ptolemy detected the main gases in the comet's coma or atmosphere, water vapour, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide, as well as a small amount of formaldehyde. Some of the compounds detected by Rosetta's instruments are key ingredients for life, showing that even though this comet is millions of kilometres away, its composition and origin shares a crucial history with our own planet. <laughs>